What's up guys? Uh, Jonathan here with Florida Turf Pros. Hey, I just went to my mailbox and it was jam-packed full of every door direct mail uh, mail. A lot of direct response style stuff in there <clears throat> and uh, it just it made me want to just I, I know what I'd recently done a video on this but I, I, I wanted to bring it back and just hammer it home again. If you're in the process of designing a, a, a piece for marketing this year, postcard or flyer or whatever, it cannot, absolutely cannot reek of a big, bold advertising marketing piece. <clears throat> I'm sure you're the same way. I do this too. When I go out to my mailbox, if it's big, bright, colorful, and it's obviously an ad, if I can determine that it is an advertisement of some sort within a matter of two seconds, it's in the trash or it's in my right hand. That's the throwaway hand. If... I have to look at something and it takes a minute to figure out what it is, there is a much better chance that I'm going to hold on to that piece of mail. Just let me give you just a two or three examples. Check this out. I got this in the mail. Big piece. Immediately. Trash. This. Immediately, big, bright, colorful, trash. This big old thing, some chiropractor or something, trash. It 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 stuck out to me too much as an advertising piece. Again, I'm not saying this is the the best, but what I'm saying is is I have a much harder time throwing away something like that. Then I do something like that. Guys, don't make it easy for our customers to, to know that it is a blatant advertising piece. It's going to go in the trash pile. Uh, it's going to be too easy for them to just completely overlook it, okay? Think a little bit deeper into it as to what you actually hold on to at your mailbox and how you go about throwing away mail. Something to think about.